When you can be picked up, when you can be kidnapped, when you can be shackled, when you can be treated like this and you haven't done anything, it means anything really is possible. I was transferred to Central Jail, where over there they took mug shots and they told me I had to take off my scarf. I said, I'm a Muslim woman. I wear hijab, I wear my scarf. And this is against the law, what you're saying. I have the right to take a picture um, with my scarf on. And they said, no, not for a mug shot. You do not take it off. So my son and I go down the corridor to go towards the airplane. And when we turn the corner, FBI is standing in the corridor. And she says, uh, you're coming with us. And I said, am I under arrest? And she said, yes, you are. She puts the handcuffs on me right there. I was strip searched. So imagine what that does to a Muslim woman who is innocent, what it would do to any woman. I was then transferred to the cell. Unbelievable conditions. There's a toilet in the middle of the floor. Of course, you know, anyone walking in between the various cells can see inside. If I wanted to use the bathroom, that I'm thinking any second, a guy is going to pass here and I can't do this, which I didn't. I didn't go to the bathroom all night. Um, it was very cold. I just tried to cover up as best I could my ankles are shackled, right? My wrists are shackled. I've never walked in shackles before in my life. And then you have to go up and down stairs. Um, and just the, the sheer humiliation of it all, to be treated like uh, some common criminal. Uh, for doing what? One of the guards gave me a white t-shirt to put over my head, which I used. I put it over. I was put into the orange scrubs. I asked for long sleeves because I didn't have any. And then they were transferring us to the female part of the prison. Uh, the guard said, okay, um, you have to take the t-shirt off of your head now. And I'm like, why? They said, because you cannot walk through the halls with it on your head. The t-shirt was even taken off. I was in solitary for days. I definitely believe that uh, my religious belief as a Muslim plays a big role in this. Of course, my previous background of just being black in America and then becoming Muslim. And of course, then we have the other side of things that, um, that I chose to live in a country that the United States does not have relations with. I have chosen to live there and I work there. Yes, I pay a big price for that. When I got out and found out about the global demonstrations that had been taking place, I asked everyone to please make sure they continue to come out and do that, because this is not about Marzi Hashimi. This is about not allowing the powers to be to do this to anyone. I had ultimately, um, because I'm a media person, that it got out. What if it's someone else? What if it's someone who is just a regular person who has no contacts, someone who doesn't have money, no connection to power. It is wrong to detain individuals, to throw them in prison, to shackle them, to torture them in ways because of uh, the conditions, and, and that they're innocent, that they haven't done anything. If that's not illegal, then I would ask them, what kind of society do you want to have?